Hello, and welcome to Lean Excel Solutions. In this tutorial, we will learn to create this PowerPoint self-running presentation with audio and timer. Let's have an overview of what we are going to create. Here is the 13 slides presentation. Total presentation time is a 1 minute 24 second with audio in the background. Once we click on presentation mode, it will automatically run for the specific timing, along with audio or voiceover. Let's see the demo, how it looks in presentation mode, and then we will create it step by step. The 5S methodology is a systematic way to organize the workplace, improve safety, and create a better work environment. It originated in Japan, and it has five words, which sounds like, starting with the S letter. The first S is Seiri. It means sort. Sorting out necessary and unnecessary, and discarding of unnecessary items from the workplace. The second S is Seitan. It means systematic arrangement. The effective and efficient arrangement of necessary items to reduce searching time. The third S is Seizo. It means shine, or you can say cleaning. Clean and care for equipment and areas, and inspect while doing so. The fourth S is Seiketsu. It means standardization. Standardization is establishing rules, creating foolproof method, so that the normal and abnormality is easily visualized in the workplace. The fifth S is Shitsuke. It means self-discipline for sustenance. Make a rules for each step, follow and make them habits. We can prepare this type of presentation with the following steps. First, write down the script. Second, generate or record an audio. Third, decide the number of slides and break down the timing. Fourth, prepare the presentation. Fifth, apply the transition. Sixth, Add audio file to presentation. Seventh, set the slide transition time as per slide timing. And the last, add animations and adjust the animation timing as per voiceover. Not necessary to follow the same sequence. You can shuffle it at your convenience. In this case, the script is ready. Voiceover is generated and the number of slides are also decided along with timing. So, let's start with the fourth step, that is prepare the presentation. These are few icons and pictures added from the inbuilt library. Insert blank slide, and let's do some preparation. Like insert guides. Add animation pane. Selection pane. And format. To sidebar, which we're going to use frequently. And let's start presentation preparation. Let's create the sidebar shapes with merging various shapes.
Rename these shapes so that it will be easy for us to organize them in proper sequence. Copy this slide and paste it below. Let's duplicate this slide too and replace shape 1 with shape 6. Similarly, let's repeat the same for remaining shapes. Let's rearrange the shapes in correct sequence, as it required to bring forward or sent backward. Change the slide's background matching with shape number 6. Now, let's add the addition slides by duplicating current one based on the requirement. Since our slide ratio is 16 by 9, let's crop this image's first to same ratio to add it to the slide background.
Cut this image and add it to the background of respective slides. Let's repeat the same quickly for remaining slides. Let's copy the contents from demo presentation to save the time. And delete the animations. Let's design the second slide. Let's copy the remaining contents from demo presentation. Here are the 13 slides with contents copied on it. Let's remove the last two slides now. These effects are nothing but the gradient fill colors with transparency adjustment. Effect direction. Shape effects etc. You can download the presentation and check all the effects later. The link to download is in the description below.
Now, let's go for the fifth step, apply transitions. To do so, select all slides except first one. Go to transition tab and select morph transition, which allows to animate smooth movement from one slide to the next. Let's see how it works in presentation mode. Alright, now let's add audio file. Let's keep it outside the slide area and change some audio option and style setting. Like, select here automatically so that the audio will start automatically once we put it in a presentation mode. Select the styles as play in background so that the audio will run throughout the presentation. If we do not select this option, it will play for this slide only and stops once the slide changes. Now, let's automate the slide changing. Since we have already decided the slide timing based on the audio file and contents on the slides, let's use it. Go to Transition tab. Here is the time for first slide, that is 13 seconds and the slide transition time is set for 2 seconds. So, we have to set 11 seconds time here. It means, the slide will change automatically after the 13 seconds. Similarly, 4 second slide, the total time is 4 seconds. 2 for transitions and 2 for slide. Let's do the same quickly, 4 remaining slides. Now, the final step is adding animations according to contents, audio and slide timing. For better understanding, let's go back to demo presentation. Here you can see, the slide timing is 11 second. And if you move cursor at the end of the last animation, it will show start and end timing. This end time must be less than or equal to this slide timing. The animation start must be selected either with previous or after previous and not on click. This each animation time you can adjust with audio time using duration and delay. You can check it too by downloading the file. In this way, we can create a self-running presentation in PowerPoint. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thanks for watching.